What up, guys? The Bench Buddies are back with the MLB Power Rankings for Week 24. As always, I'll be breaking down all 30 teams and where they rank. But before I jump into it, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below to be entering into our giveaway at 500 subscribers. The pitchers of the week are Justin Steele and Pablo Lopez. As you can see, both these guys had some dominant performances. Justin Steele, eight innings, two hits, 12 Ks, and a win for San Francisco. And Pablo Lopez, almost the exact same, except got a no decision with two more strikeouts. But these guys were dealing last week as they get their credit. The hitters of the week are none other than Jose Altuve and Matt Olson. And Matt Olson is, I think, the seventh or eighth Brave I've had as the hitter of the week this year. And he deserves it. Three straight games with a home run, totaling four last week, well over 500 average, almost on base two out of every three times. And he's just been on an absolute tear along with his buddy Acuna. Then you got to add Jose Altuve in the equation. He hit five solo home runs in a span of 24 hours. And it was four straight plate appearances dating back to the days before game that he hit a home run. So Altuve had a great two game stretch to start the week and then finished off with a home run at the later ends. But, you know, he had a great week as well. The dogs of the week are the Baltimore Orioles. 90 and 52 this year and I don't think a lot of people thought they would be this good this year but here they are sweeping the Angels and beating Boston in a series two to one going five and one they are seven and two in September and they have a tough series this weekend they play St. Louis at home before and then they welcome the Tampa Bay Rays for a four game series that more than likely could decide the AL Central they currently held a three game lead on them and if you take three of four against the Rays then you know, this division might be over with the two weeks left to go come this time next week. And what are they doing to be this good? Well, I think it's your starting pitching. Yes, you know, the hitting has been great, but the pitching has been very consistent and was the big question mark heading into this year. The duds of the week are the Colorado Rockies, one and five last week, 51 91 to both series, obviously, to Arizona, one to two, and then San Francisco, they got swept. And you can't really win games when you only score 22 runs in six games. A little more than three runs a game isn't awful. But when you're giving up double that, almost, what's that? Seven runs a game is what you're averaging giving up. You're not going to win a lot of games. So this team is just yet again looking forward to next year. Here are the biggest movers. And obviously you can see Miami jumping up a lot in this week's rankings after beating the Dodgers on the road. Astros, Blue Jays move up. Red Sox, Mariners, and Rangers all fall down. And a lot of AL teams here. 30 through 21, not much changes. Just a few tinkering here. Angels and Mets flip while the Cardinals and Nationals flip. And I can confidently say that all these teams are now officially out of the playoff race. Yes, mathematically, they still have a chance. But do you really think any of these teams have a chance? The most likely team to possibly get in would be the Tigers. And, you know, they're nine games back with, I think, 20 to go. So they have to win out, and the Twins are going to have to pretty much almost lose out. Then 20 through 11, you have a lot of movement towards the 15 and up. Guardians, Padres, Yankees all stay the same. With Dominguez out, it's going to be tough for them to finish the year. Giants move down, too, after a mediocre week while the Reds stay put. Then this is where it gets interesting. The Red Sox and Rangers are both moving down. Rangers 2-3 and three week, Red Sox 2-4. and four. And the Red Sox looked for a brief moment that they would possibly contend for that last wild card spot, but it's not looking too hot right now as the Rangers are on the outside looking in. And this team has pretty much lost all of it since the middle of August to now. The Rangers are struggling to stay in the race. You know, they're flopping consistently in that last wild card spot. So they just need to put together two solid weeks here, get into the postseason, squeak in there. The Diamondbacks, Marlins, and Twins are obviously all moving up. Diamondbacks looking good. They're starting to figure things out again after their three-week, three I guess you could say, hiatus of really just kind of falling back down to earth. Marlins kind of had the same thing going on for them, but as I mentioned earlier, they took two of three from the Dodgers in L.A., so they're getting a huge jump up. And then the Twins, I'm finally starting to give them their credit. They're starting to win games and really put teams away and – put the Guardians and Tigers in the rear view mirror. Yet again, another winning week as they jump up to 11. Then 10 through one, lots of movement here as 10, two, and one are the only ones that don't move. And we'll start at 10 with the Cubs. Another winning week as this team looks like they are going to make the playoffs. If you keep having winning weeks like this, it's kind of hard for me to see the Cubs not making it as we only have three weeks left in the season. 
The Phillies, Mariners, and Brewers all moved down because of the great weeks from the Blue Jays and the Astros. Phillies are kind of concerning to me because they have a tough schedule to end the season, so could they possibly fall out? Same with the Mariners. The AL West is going to beat up on each other, and those Astros, Mariners, and Rangers all are right there in the mix. And then the Brewers, well, they really have the Cubs to worry about. That's pretty much it. I know that the Reds are kind of hanging around there, but it's really a two-horse race at this point between the Brewers and Cubs. And they do play each other, so that will be a series you'll have to watch when they do. Blue Jays, obviously I mentioned, moved up and with the Astros. And they are looking like they're starting to get higher in that wild card race. You know, I, They're pretty much out of the division at this point. It feels like 10 and a half back from the O's. So they're playing for a playoff spot and hopefully trying to get that four seed. Uh, but, you know, once again, the Rays or the Orioles, whoever doesn't win the AL East is going to more than likely get that four seed. So the who, whoever is the fifth seed is going to have to play an AL East team. And looks like right now it's going to be the Blue Jays if things were to end today. Astros currently are winning the AL West by a game and a half over those Mariners when they play each other. At the end of September, the last week of the season, that could possibly decide who is going to win the AL West. The ain't Dodgers are moving down one, obviously, because they lost to the Marlins. Uh, but the Rays move up one because of that and their dominance last week going 5-2. and two, And they look like they're back. And they are three games back behind the O's. And, you know, as I mentioned earlier, those two teams play in a four-game series this weekend. So if the O's go three and three or four, take three or four from them, they're going to walk away more than likely with this division, whereas the Rays do the other. If they go, then this could be an interesting two weeks. But And then we got to talk about first place, first rank, I guess you could say, for the power rankings are the Atlanta Braves. And they've held this ranking for, I think, six, seven, eight weeks now, it feels like. And they're playing mediocre baseball. They already actually won today, so it's 94-49 and 49 as they beat the Phillies in extras 10-8. to eight. But this Braves team... The lineup is stacked. The pitching, they find guys and they can, you know, get the win at the end of the day. They find different ways to win games. And you can thank Acuna, more than likely your NL MVP. And Matt Olson should receive some votes as well for that MVP. And it just seems like it's going to come down to the middle relief pitching for me when we get to the postseason for the Braves. But that's going to be it for this week's video. Make sure you guys check back next week to see where your favorite team ranks and to see if the Braves are still holding on to that one spot.